After my last video about media controls, I got a couple of questions about my now playing card. So in this video, I'll show how I created this pretty simple card. I think I prefer this style over what I created in the previous video because it takes up less space in my dashboard. Just so you know upfront, if you want this card to work with multiple speakers, you can create multiple conditional cards that display the card depending on what speaker are playing. I've added the code for this card to the Media Controls Gumroad listing, so go check that out if you just want to grab the full code, or if you want to help support me in this channel. I start by creating a new custom button card, then I add my speaker as an entity. I set a default icon, this will work as a fallback, and I add a name. Then I will just define a custom field called State. This will be used to display the artist and song title. Next, I'm going to use the state function of button card to dynamically change the different elements depending on the state of the speaker. So I'm going to add conditions for playing and paused, and I'm just going to use some placeholder text for now. And you can see that the text changes when I play and pause the music. This function is really handy for a lot of stuff inside Home Assistant, and I use it on almost every card I create. Okay, now that that is working, I can add the artist and song title to the state custom field. My Sonos speakers give me this information, so it's easy for me to grab it from the attributes. Everyone's setup is different, so if you don't have these attributes, just ask in the comments and I will do my best to help. For the paused state, I will basically use the same code, but I will add paused as text at the end. When creating these dynamic text elements in button card, it is important to format the code correctly. If you want to add more than one element, you have to add a plus sign and static text has to be inside apostrophes. Now I want to show the song's artwork instead of the icon. So I set show entity picture to true. This will of course only work if your speaker has an entity picture. Let's start styling the card so it looks a bit better. For now I'll add grid, card name and state custom field styling. The grid is pretty simple. It's just a two by two grid, but formatting is important to make it work. Start by adding apostrophes. Then each row is inside quotation marks. I hope this makes sense. I is for icon, and because we define it in both rows, it will fill the whole first column. Then state is on top of name in the second column. Then I just define the size of the columns. First column will be 76 pixels, and I use one FR, so that the second column fills the rest of the available space. Next is the card itself. I'll make it a fixed height of 66 pixels with a 33 pixel border radius, and a small padding of four pixels. I forgot to add entity picture before, so let's just add that now. It just needs a width and height of 100% and auto. Then IMG cell is used to position the picture and the icon. Let's move it to the left with justify self and give it a fixed height and a 50% border radius. I start by adding padding, but it's cleaner to just use a bigger width than height. Next is the two text elements. I use the same text formatting that I use on most cards. For the smaller text, I use 14 pixel font size and slightly transparent. The bigger text, the state custom field, is slightly bigger and fatter. It also helps to add padding top and bottom to these elements just to push it a little away from the edge of the card. A nice detail is that I've added the entity picture as a background image as well to the whole card. This was a bit tricky, but I think the best way to do this is by using a custom field and only have it visible when the speaker is playing something. So I'm going to add a new custom field to the playing state, and I'll call it IMG. Here I will return some HTML code, but we have to be careful to split the HTML code with plus signs and apostrophes like before. That way we can add the entity picture as a URL to the HTML code. I'll show on the screen how HTML images are normally coded, and I think it should make sense. We are just replacing image.jpg with the entity picture. So you can see that we now have a picture right on top of everything, so we need to add some styling to this custom field as well. I set position to be absolute, and I make it slightly transparent with opacity, and a nice effect is to also add a blur filter. But, a problem is that this picture is placed on top of all the other elements, making everything kind of diffused. We can fix that by adding Z index to every element. The image should have a value of zero, and the other elements should have a value of one. This moves the image to the background. To finish off the card, I just specify my default card background color. And that's it. After my last video about media controls, I got a few questions about this card, and it is currently what I am using. 
It takes up much less space in the dashboard, so I think it's nice. You could of course build on this as well. Maybe you want to move the play and pause buttons into this card somehow, that way you can save even more space. But I prefer to have separate media controls, similar to what dedicated music apps do. Let me know if you have any suggestions about how we can build on this. As always, thanks for watching.